We've got Jasmine Jones here joining myself, Jordan Moore, Keely Yor, and Max Brown. Jasmine, uh, you're a junior now, but you, you came to USC from Atlanta. Uh, what, what brought you across the country to, to uh, be a Trojan? Um, I wasn't really scared of like traveling across the country for college. I always thought USC was like an amazing place, regardless of like the 2,000 miles in between <laughs> there in my home. But um, yeah, my dad used to play football back in the day, and USC was one of like the main colleges to recruit him, and he always had like a love for it like in his heart. And um, my grandparents actually live in Santa Barbara, so it's like a little bit of a connection to California, so it didn't feel like a completely foreign like new state. It kind of felt like an extension of home because my grandparents are pretty close. My dad has like a USC, like he's a USC fan, so <laughs> yeah, USC was kind of like in the house growing up. Now, you were a 12-time individual state champion in high school. <laughs> yes. How do you get started with hurdles and, and track to begin with? Oh, my gosh. It's actually kind of a funny story. <laughs> like, I started I started running track when I was, like, nine years old. Um, I was always a kind of active child. I was pretty tall, pretty skinny. I'm kind of tall now. Um, <laughs> and my sister was a hurdler first before me, so I was just running the 400 and, like, sprints 200, 100. And I thought it looked really cool, really fun. So I was like, hey, like, coach, would you mind if I like tried hurdles? I was like 11 at the time. And he was like, yeah, go ahead, go for it. Like, go over hurdle one, see what happens. I go over it, I crash, I burn, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is, it's pretty embarrassing. And he's like, yeah, I think you're a little too uncoordinated for that one. Maybe come back in a couple years. My dad used to call me literally like a baby horse. My legs were so long and skinny. <laughs> and yeah, I came back two years later. I was, I guess, 13. Um, in middle school, I hurdle and it's better. <laughs> I go on to like hurdle in like my middle school um, and high school and I just got better and better. My dad coached me and I think it was just had to come in at the right time. <laughs> grew into it. Yeah, grew into it. Yeah, what makes someone a, a great hurdler as someone who's never been fast ever? I look at hurdle. Is it, is it the coordination aspect that you mentioned or like what makes someone, hey, now I can elevate to hurdles and not just standard sprinting? <laughs> um, it's not really a common thing to like switch over from hurdles to sprints in like an older age. I feel like people who hurdle usually start hurdling as like their event, but a lot of hurdlers come from like a dance background or like a gymnastics or like cheer background. So I came from dance. I danced for 13 years before I did any track um or during track I guess too and yeah I think the main thing about hurdles is like rhythm it's kind of like getting it in your own body how your own body feels about it because a lot of people hurdle differently like when people put coaching on people it's always like adjusted to a specific athlete it's never like a black and white blueprint you finished second at NCAAs this year yeah yes I did <laughs> so you know I look at that and I would be that person in the Olympics uh, you guys tell me who you would be I would be the person who would be like oh my god I got a silver medal I'm so stoked <laughs> yeah. but there's that other person that's like I'm gonna cry I didn't get the <laughs> gold medal this one I'm holding is useless to me which person are you I'm definitely a combination of both. I was so happy to win my silver medal because it was a PR. It was like the, the last race of the season, or so I thought, because I had one more meet left. But And I was really just happy with my performance because I'd been battling an injury all year. But there's always that one little, like, mm. It, it's just so close to gold that it, it's a little bit bittersweet, you know. But, I mean, I'm really proud of my accomplishment. And, like, if I could do it again, I would, but I would get gold, obviously. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> How do you improve in hurdles? Like, what does that take? Because I feel like there's so many things involved with it. How do you, like, make those marginal, those improvements? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. It's, I mean, hurdling is crazy. It's just so fast, so belligerent, so, like, violent is what Coach Jet says. Um, yeah, even, like, a, a thousandth of a second improvement is honestly a great win for me. Like, shaving down those tenths is a huge accomplishment. Like, I've, I was really proud of, like, going from a season's best of a 12.7 to a 12.6 just, like, in one year. I think that was, like the highlight of the year which made the silver even sweeter but um yeah it's crazy that like the time is just so fast everything counts every little every little tick every breath every movement is like important when you get that PR are you crossing the finish line like yep that's a PR I know it I feel it in my body or does it surprise you like oh I don't know I had that 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 gas left in the tank usually I can feel it <laughs> I, I can tell when it's a sub 13 at least like in a, in a race, you can feel how fast it is because the hurdles start coming up faster. You know, honestly, like when I'm in a race, I don't really think about the race. But then wh when I do think about the race, I know it's fast because I'm like, oh, my gosh, like I'm actually conscious in this race <laughs> right now. But, um, yeah, it feels like it's a crazy feeling going as fast. Like your body's never done this before. And it's just it's honestly so fun. It's a good question, too, though, because what you're talking about is like tenths of a second. Yeah. Yeah. So to feel tenths of a second. Yeah. Is pretty wild. But you're so 
tuned to mm-hmm. everything out there that I imagine you're super aware of. You mentioned Coach Jet. That was just a, a subtle reference to one of the many Olympians that are coaching here yeah. at USC. Uh, what's it like to to play for, to to work under this just super accomplished staff? I mean, all of them in their own right just have incredible resumes a, as athletes. It's honestly incredible. I'm so grateful for it. Like, just the proximity to so much, like, greatness. Even, like, our coaches and, like, the pros who train with us or like under our coaches also it's just so insane to be like oh yeah my friend and then you realize he's a world champion like <laughs> and then all our coaches have like Olympic gold medals and like just seeing like seeing it be possible seeing it happen to people we know and seeing how like the mindset that they have and what got them to their gold is really like encouraging and really inspiring for us this is the first year that Quincy Watts has taken over as director of track and field mm-hmm. what's that transition been like and what has he been like it's been great. It's been a, a lot different. I really like it. But um, <clears throat> yeah, like it's a whole new perspective, a whole new team, too, which I think also helps like bringing in a bunch of newcomers this year. We have like half the team is brand new. So it's a whole new like a whole new year. I think it's just like every year we kind of like we, we give ourselves 24 hours after each race to like be excited, celebrate. And then you got to or excited or either or be sad because sometimes <laughs> races don't go well. But yeah, we have 24 hours to recover and then it's a whole new day. Yeah, we don't get to like dwell on um, things that went wrong or things or be too high on yourself. So coming to this year is like a, one of those things. It's like the my freshman year we won nationals it was great. My sophomore year it was rebuilding, re like loading the program, and this year we're getting set, ready to go. It's exciting. In uh, in football, like basketball, even baseball, we just talked with coach. It's very like reactionary right you can mm-hmm. practice and get reps but um the defense or the pitcher or whatever like they're gonna throw something new at you with track like that sure the elements might change but mm-hmm. it's 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 fairly consistent of what you're gonna get time and time again how do you approach not overthinking and from more of a mental mental approach of hey i've done this before just trust my ability like what's that what's that approach like when you're when you're standing in the box yeah, it's really about trusting your process, trusting your training. We drill this so much every day that you just have to like, honestly, don't overthink it. Let go. Your body's done the work, and just trust that it's like in your muscles, in your brain, and like, and like how to do what it does. Paris, we thinking about Paris? <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> Super excited. I'm, I'm always I'm, thinking yeah, about like, Paris. <laughs> well, so. me too. <laughs> but uh, look forward to watching you as you continue on this journey, and uh, then hopefully on to Paris, uh, mm-hmm. where all the all the Trojan greats end up in the Olympians uh, in the Olympics, and uh, Jasmine Jones appears to be one of those. Thanks.